Virgin most tender, our homage we render. Thy love and protection, sweet mother, to win. In danger defend us, in sorrow befriend us. And shield our hearts from contagion and sin. O Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Queen of the angels, Queen of the May. O Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Queen of the angels, Queen of the May. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Very dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for forgiveness and compassion before celebrating these sacred mysteries. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, perfect life of the, of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal mystery, mysteries on earth, Bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages and ending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles, too, had accepted the word of God. When Peter went to, up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa when I had a trance. I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But I said, certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time, a voice from heaven came. What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discrimination. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel 
standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst, a thirst is, is my thirst soul for, for the, the living God. God. If the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst, a thirst is, is my, my soul for, for the, the living God. God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst, a thirst is, is my, my soul, soul for, for the, the living God. God. Then will I go to the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O oh God. My God, a thirst is my soul for the, for the living God. says the Lord, I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen, Amen. I say to you, whoever does not enter a, a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the, the sheep hear his voice as he called his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and then the, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. 
Although Jesus used this figure to, to, of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I, I say to you, I am the gate of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Very dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Peter's initial refusal to partake of anything unclean and his reluctance to have any fellowship with Gentiles is an important clue to the deep rift which existed between Jews and Gentiles, a rift which had a strong impact in the church. Peter's change of mind and heart becomes a turning point for the church in Jerusalem in its attitudes and actions toward Gentile converts. We come in this lesson to the conclusion of the incident involving Peter and his, and his Jewish companions and Cornelius and his Gentile companions. The Jerusalem saints confront Peter, hear the, his defense, and reach their conclusions. The importance of the decision reached here can, can hardly be overemphasized. Jesus said, I am telling you the truth. I am the gate for the sheep. Those who come in by me with, uh, will be saved. They will come and go out and find pasture. I have come in order that you might have life, life in all its fullness. To attain the fullness of life, the saints have the, the following spiritual guide. The Lord does not need our, our service. He commanded us to follow him but his, his was the gift of salvation. To follow the Savior is to share in salvation. To follow the light is to enjoy the light. Those who are in the light do not illuminate the light, but are themselves illuminated and enlightened by the light. They add nothing to the light. Rather, they are beneficiaries, for they are enlightened by the light. No one should follow what he considers to be good for himself, but rather what seems good to, for another. Let them put Christ, Christ before all else, and may he for another. And, lay in, and may he lead us all to everlasting life. We must reject all that is contrary to obedience, never permitting such movements and aspirations. Simply obey. God does not ask anything else of you. Obedience unites us so closely to God that in a way that in a way transforms us into him 
so that we have no other will but his. If obedience is lacking, even prayer cannot be pleasing to God. It is very nice to consider the importance of obedience when we have accepted the, the plan of God in our lives, when we have accepted Jesus Christ, our Savior, when we read his gospel and try to imitate, to imitate Jesus, we need to obey his commandments because obedience is more important than all kind of sacrifices. Let us continue this precious celebration in this time of Easter and let us try to examine our lives if uh, obedience is for, for us very important in um, obeying Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. Let us present our prayers to our Father. For church leaders, may the Lord bless them and keep them as they continue to preach the gospel of peace and forgiveness for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected officials, may God embolden them in working together with their communities for peace among all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are unemployed, may God look graciously upon them and provide sufficient work for them to support themselves and their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, May the Holy Spirit continue to help us grow in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they be received into eternal happiness with our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. A special intention for this Mass is for the people of the parish, and for the repose of the soul of Juana Rodriguez Villegas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the petition listed in our book of intentions and for the personal needs withhold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear these our prayers, O Lord, presented in the name of Jesus Christ, who is Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Resucito. Resucitó, resucitó, aleluya, 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 resucitó. Death now, vanished is the fear now, vanished are my tears now, death has passed away, 
Resucitó, resucitó, resucitó. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her a cause of such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it's truly right and just to give you thanks and raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. For by the word of your Son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation, and having filled her with life by the power of your Spirit, you never cease through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, he dispenses without, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright uh, as the light at the sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promise would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the church as one voice we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaot, plenis uncelli et terra, gloria tua, osana in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini. O sana in excelsis. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And in a song for the disciples, and now for us, he opened the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send for you, Holy Spirit, to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And the day before he was to suffer, and the night of the last supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death of the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at the right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which hope for the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and granted of it by the power of your Spirit of your Lord, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, and in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church, which is in San Diego, by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and the whole order of Bishop, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose fate alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection and in the fullness of life. Grant also to us, on our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. They are in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis of Assisi and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. In gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us pray in the same word Jesus Christ, our Savior, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver our Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our symbol of the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. And you stay, quit all his peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be here. In the body and blood of Jesus Christ, keep us safe for eternal life.
I invite you to reunite with me in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the uncorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to continue supporting our parish. You can do this by sending your donation by mail. You can also bring the donation and put it in the boxes around the church. We, you can also to use the, the website of the parish and you, or use your credit card. Thank you for your support. We are distributing food uh, on Tuesdays and and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Please register on the website of the parish. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our celebration is sent that us go in peace, proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, letare alleluia, qui acque meruisti portare, alleluia, resurrexi sicudixi, alleluia, Ora pro no.